Act Lakeshore title. Tri-County hosting Central Montcalm in a CSAA gold matchup. And it would be the four and two Hornets getting on the board first. Five yard touchdown run on the legs of Caleb Crooks. They go for two and don't get it, so it's six nothing. Green Hornets. After a lightning delay, Trent Barronwald really stepped up for the Vikings this year. He goes 38 yards to get the Vikings on the board. 6-6 game, and Tri-County's going to go ahead and go for two as well. Tyler Tompkins, the outstanding senior quarterback, going to keep it, get around it in. Tri-County with the win, 16-6 the final. That's 6-1 now for the Vikings. Of course, Reed City on its way to winning the CSAA gold. But Brett Bikita, I'll tell you what, Tri-County's a team to watch out for. Remember, they won two playoff games last year because they got in because everybody did. Now almost everybody's back. They're a team to watch. You look at Portage Central getting hot, Vicksburg playing some good football. I mean, we got some teams to watch out for. And then we got the league title game next week with uh, Kelms United at Constantine. So a lot to look forward to here. Yeah, two things that jumped out at me. Evan Anderson, you're absolutely right. I like the dimension he gives at, uh, Vicksburg at quarterback running, and you saw he can really throw the football there. And I want to go back to Kalamazoo United. Nice win for them, and they have been red hot. They challenged themselves. And remember that opening game, and you told me, you said, man, they played Whitehall right there, and it was a great game. Whitehall won that game, but those are the type of games, as you know, when you're a smaller school, you can build upon, and Kalamazoo United's got it rolling right now. Impressive. We'll 